What's up guys, it's Tribesman. Today I'm going to be playing Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series, and when we left off, we were going with this guy, we sang Gareth off to the wall, to Lord Ethan why here. and we came to meet the White, White Hall, Lord White Hill I think, knows yeah, White, a White Hill, a was, I uh, Lord, is, was, it makes as no difference. Ethan. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. All Let's right. not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more Screw House to Bolton. stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, Lord. I do look good like a bit of a goober. Well, he does too. Lord yeah, Ethan, he, he looks it? like more of My a goober. condolences for your father and brother. <laughs> Screw you. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Oh, yeah. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! That's how you I talk to you, piece of shit. You've on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? <laughs> We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Hey. Watch your mouth in my court. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, it's this guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked oh, man. us for no I reason. I really like controlling yeah. what happens. Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He's not a squire, he's a knight. in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Nah. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Good. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Roos Bolton can what kiss my ass. What kind of fucking ass. house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh yes, yeah, saved by Mama uh, Tree Iron. Lady Forrester. What? Forrester. Bella, like <laughs> <wounded ball, laughs> uh, have you forgotten your manners? <coughs> I mean no Threat. disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Aye. Oh, yeah. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She said. That lad may be lord of this house, 
Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I assume it's like a curse word. But... <laughs> But I don't really know. <laughs> I hope defiance or diplomacy. I was wrong I'm about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. I will never bend Prepare the knee. Raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. This is so sick. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. Oh, and Lady yeah. Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. The Tyrells have cool outfits. Like the. The, uh. Most of the dresses and like the like Joffrey's suits and stuff are kind of ugly. <laughs> to be honest with you, but like Marjorie had cool clothes. To remember him. What a strange place, Essos. <clears throat> Ethan made this for me. So is that my sister, Ethan's sister? I mean. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. What is it? It once belonged to Lady Elena. <laughs> Approach. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I just remember that scene from this show where, um. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, crap. The Rose Knight, uh, Marjorie's brother. I forgot his name, but he's like talking to Sansa, and she's like, "That's a very nice pen." And he's like, eh, "It's more of a brooch." <laughs> oh my god! Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Yep. I hope to see them all someday. I guess Roderick's her brother, and Ethan. So she's like Sansa, sort of. Except King's Landing. Less of a pushover. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hopefully. What's my name? What's I mean her name? Oh, I think we're about to find out. It troubles me to nope. even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. True. Marjorie's cool. I guess we're going to the door. Somebody knocked, I think. <coughs> One moment. Hero. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Who are you? No, it's fine. Come in. Is he... What is in that bucket? Begging your pardon, lady, but are you alright? 
If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. I'm telling you, I said that. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. What is in that? You just work dump it. Lady Marjorie? <laughs> I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Are you hitting on me? I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Queen Regent. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cersei hates Marjorie. <laughs> oh, that's and so House funny. Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing. Oh, so cowboy. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Is that for like her bath, maybe? Or in case she gets like warm, I mean cold at night. That's probably it. I think they did that in the show. Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. Oh. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. Oh, what's my name? We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what Jesus. I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. These guys. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, <laughs> that smile. <laughs> she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, <clears throat> but she's waiting for us now, and I, I promise I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. <sighs> Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen I guess I is ready do to it. receive us. For uh for Marjorie. What? What are you looking at? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Thank you. I don't trust that our handmaiden. see Cersei next time <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video then be sure you give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe for more Game of Thrones